So hey guys, today on the bench, it's been a while, but I do have another Garmin tracking collar. Belongs to a buddy of mine that keeps these on his hunting dogs. And I do know that this Garmin here is different from the older models I worked on maybe a couple years ago. Did a few videos on, and he has already taken the, the actual radio antenna out of it, I think, and put it on another collar. And he said this thing is fairly new, and the problem with it is... A boar tusk got a hold to the GPS antenna wire here, if you can see it. And he just wanted to know if we could take a look at it, and I thought it might make an interesting video. So I think it's charged up enough. Let's cut it on. I heard it boot up. We'll just see here. I don't think it'll connect. We're back in a few minutes. So after a couple minutes here, we still are not linked. We're just blinking green. So just cut this back off. We'll just go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna use some little wow stick here that Banggood has sent us to do a review on. If you're interested in this little screwdriver, there'll be a link in the description. A bit bigger bit here. This is a handy screwdriver for these for these little smaller jobs here. So that's a different size there. We'll put in a different location. These were already loose since he did take the antenna off of it. There's our first look inside here. Unplug our battery. Which that's actually our charging connector input to our main board. And then of course our battery with the BMS built in it looks like. Probably real similar to the older colors we looked at. We're just going to lay the battery and the collar aside for now. Let's focus on this. Going to put the four screws from the GPS antenna in a separate spot as well. They are a different length. And this is what we have here. And that's our problem. Let's go to a little different bit here. The cool thing about this little wow stick is it comes with a lot of different tips if you choose to buy that one. So again, different screws that goes into the collar part. I can feel some silicone ripping away here. And yet we are sealed for water or moisture ingress there. I'm gonna look this over and save a little time on camera and we'll be right back. So I use some desoldering tools and I I have desoldered this stud that comes through for the radio antenna that looks like it's keeping us attached to the board here. And we got at least three screws here. Looks like we got another base under this can. And there's our, there's our fourth screw right here. And there we go, we lifted. Just careful there. And there's our push button housing, a little rubber protector and sealer. And that's the connection we're trying to get to on the board right there. We just have to work away very carefully with the silicone. Get to our solder connection and be careful because as you can see, there is a lot of SMD components all around it, especially on this side.
and off camera here, I have gone around with a razor knife and some small screwdrivers. And I have tried to get to this side of the coax wire. And I finally put a hole, which seems to be a little encapsulated board here. It does not appear to be just potting. I think that's totally epoxied. I think there is some air pockets. I busted through that air pocket to pry, but just so you know, I don't think it's impossible to get some small coax and, and repair this, but, but it might be very difficult to get to the board without destroying it. What my friend has done is he has bought this GPS replacement that's supposed to work with this one, so it's gonna go just like that. So I'll work on getting a little bit more of this silicone off and we'll we'll pull this wire through and we'll replace it with our new one. Before I reassemble here, I'm going to clean up this area, get all the rosin flux off of here. I'm going to seal it with some, uh, just some silicone rubber sealant, and then we'll come back and seal the back as well before we totally reassemble. Seal, seal back up here with silicone. I just have to solder the uh, antenna connection. We'll be ready to reassemble. I'm not going to tighten these up all the way. 
he actually has to put his um, antenna back on here, his RF antenna. Make sure we get a good seal here. Just double check for tightness and he'll get these later. But there you go. That's what that replacement GPS antenna looks like for the Garmin T5. Just no match for the old hog there. Almost cut it completely in two. There you go. Pull completely out. So had to step outside here in the dark. But we have verified that we have acquired a satellite signal. So if you found this video helpful today, please like, share, subscribe. And as always, in the description of this video, I'll have some links to some items that I enjoy using and that I think is helpful on the bench. So if you're interested in any of those items, the links below are there for your convenience and any link that you do click on does support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and God bless.